Hello everyone and welcome to Reminiscence. It's a game, a uh, horror game on Steam I got a while ago and I played about five seconds of it, I don't know, like a month ago and I haven't really played it since. Uh, it, <clears throat> excuse me, it has partial controller support which is why I picked it up because I, uh, you know, I don't do well with mouse and keyboard, but uh, the controller support was very, very limited, uh, so I didn't, I didn't play a whole lot of it. So, trying to get better with the mouse and keyboard, so I thought I would give it another go. So let's go ahead. I don't know really much about it. It's just, it's a scary game. That's all I know. So let's start a new game. Okay. Hourglass loading screen, very nice. Can you see my mouse cursor? <whistles> well, while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and take a swig of monster energy. The Breakfast of Champions. Maybe this time. Maybe this time. Okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> Maybe this time what? Do I have a flashlight? No. Okay, so we got a bunch of electrical stuff. Um, a glitchy clock. What looks to be a family photo, maybe? Wife, husband, kid? No. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Bunch of trash on the floor. Clean up your place, dude. Alright, so, looks like the only... Wait, can I open, can I open some drawers? I cannot. Cabinet, I cannot. Nothing. E. I cannot. Okay. Uh, so I assume the big circle here means that I can interact with this, so. I've got to find them. I have much time. Alright, fair enough, dude. Oh, look! <clears throat> oh, it's nice now. Oh, Okay, cool. Let's look at to see what this is. All right, yep, indeed a family photo. Okay, I have to find them. I haven't much time. Oh, hello. How are you? I'm gonna. Okay, good, because I'm going this way anyway. Doors locked. Yeah, man, you just have to have a clock, a glitchy clock, and then touch it. Alright, we got a patriotic family here. It's been so long. Yeah, 49 stars? What the? Okay. Ah, we can go in this one. <coughs> I am digging this wallpaper in the mid-century modern furniture and decor. It's beautiful. I love it. Don't change a thing. Controversy surrounding Shasta Dam. Dam workers claim unpaid hours. Antique roadshow. Crime rates spiraling down. That's a good thing, right? You don't want it spiraling up. Let's close the door. Alright, we got a sweet jukebox here. Doesn't do anything. Um, can't open any of the drawers. Uh oh. What? What? Oh. Okay, that's cool. So I got a little pocket watch. Allows me to roll back time, or I guess push it forward. But what are the consequences? No. That's locked. Basement? Sure. There's. Oh. 
a song. Why does it sound familiar? I don't know, man. What? What just happened? Not here. Maybe I should try to clock in the lobby again. Oh, okay. The lobby? You mean the room? What? Okay, fine. I don't care. Let's leave. Find the clock in the lobby. Environments look good. Uh oh. Well, that's a problem. Pretty awkward to sit in that chair and watch the TV. Can we turn on the TV? No. Popular science. These are actual magazines. Is that creepy guy still around? Oh, we can go in here now. <clears throat> it was locked. Uh, this wallpaper I'm not digging. Another family photo. Very nice. This seems to be a problem. Might want to get that fixed. And that. Mm -hmm. What's this? It's a cutting board. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything for me to do in here. Oh, there's a clock. Uh, it's a digital cuckoo clock with mechanical weights something is very off with that but okay it's like the past and the future are blending together okay whatever um, okay let's go back Yes, indeed. <clears throat> Alright, should I try this clock? Well, that just made me go back in time. Now I can't leave. Oh, uh, oh, uh, wait, was this open before? Hmm. Um. Alright, I'm going to try again. Okay. Wait, now can I go out this door over here? No. Why would I be able to escape this horror? <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. You sent a man back in time. Congratulations. You want a cookie? Yep, here's this room again. Okay. Creepy guy is behind this door. It's locked. It can stay locked. He can stay in there. He needs some of his own private time. I'm going to give it to him. Bedroom. Ooh. Oh my god, what the f*** was that? Not cool, bro. Uh, is this upside down? That's, that's not how you do it, man. There's a cigarette. Still burning. Please tell me why. Am I supposed to be able to read that? It's gone without saying, it goes without saying that with our research, research is progress, gathering public attention, there are certain things we need to discuss concerning our interactions with the media. First and foremost, no disclosure of schematics and or the principles behind the device. Communists, communist espionage is a very real threat and the Soviets are likely to keep a close eye on what the papers are reporting 
And to our most pressing issue, I'm aware of some of the research team's numbers concerns of hallucinations. These obviously are baseless and completely untrue. And abound not, and I don't know the things in the way, not under any circumstances, circumstance be something with the press. Looking forward to your continued cooperation, Alan Moreau, Pentagon Research and Development. Sorry if I was like right up in your face there. I couldn't read it though. It's very small. <clears throat> okay. Can't interact with the typewriter. I'm going to continue on. This is a pretty sweet piece of furniture here. Um, that we can't interact with. Okay. Is there no clock in here? Can't do anything with that. Alright, so I guess we're just in here to read that note. Another sweet armoire. Can't go in there yet. I guess I'll try the basement again. Whoa. Is this newspaper the same? Whoa. America discovers the time machine. Scientific community in complete disbelief. DOD contacted. And weather balloons go missing in Southeast Asia. Now that's that should be the the headline. All right, let's go back downstairs again. Okay, clock is still here, being all glitchy. Okay, so by my count, they have three refrigerators. Okay. Not sure what, if anything, that did. Oh. Obviously, we went forward, I guess, in time. You look, the walls are different. Still got those sweet, sweet couches and stuff. All right, I'm going to go through here. What do you want to bet that's who we're looking for? Yeah, you don't have to keep saying it, dude. Pentagon R&D accused of high treason. Alright, shut up. We're out of here. We don't need to be reminded of our failures. We know all too well. Okay. Kitchen looking like crap now. This won't work without a pendulum. It's gotta be around here somewhere. But it's digital. It's can't quite reach three o'clock. That's a bummer. Alright, so now we're on the lookout for a pendulum. Uh nope, not there. I don't know, that's a thermos maybe? It's not in the fridge. All right, it must not be in this part of the house. Is that thing gonna come out and get me again? The date is January 6, 1998. No. Oh, that's... no. Just no. Oh. Well, how were you getting in there before? What was that? Y'all see that? Okay, I'm just gonna keep going forward. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, now this isn't normal. Oh, look. Key. I've got to go back to that lobby. Find that old clock. Okay. 
Doctor, it says strange love. Uh, as per our three last letters, we are sorry to inform you that we do not have a Alan Moreau working here, nor have we ever had such a person employed. We would kindly ask you to stop attempting to contact us on the subject. Furthermore, we at the Research and Development Department have no knowledge of any of your relatives participating in any experiment, nor are we aware of any physical harm coming to the staff and or test subjects. Again, we request that you stop contacting us on the subject, as you are clearly mistaken. Respectfully, Jebediah H. Smith. Pentagon Research and Development. I call bullshit on that. You're trying to cover it up. Okay. We got the key now. I mean, something's going to happen. Oh. Wasn't expecting this. Somebody's an avid hunter. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Oh, well, thanks. Now I can pass. Yeah, yeah, the date is that. And... Excuse me? Um, oh, hey! Frozen solid? There's gotta be a way to get that out. Yeah, man. Run the hot water. Or not. Uh, here's a note. Oh, my God. Dr. Strangelove, I'm writing this in the hope that it reaches your eyes only. We need to discuss the side effects of this technology ASAP. The rest of the research team is beyond apathetic to studying the subject further. There is a direct connection between the storms in Southeast Asia and our experiments. Of that, I am certain. The storm's growth coincides with our use of the technology. More importantly, I'm aware of what happened during the experiment of what lied in between. We really must discuss your experience then to gauge your sanity and your commitment to this project. Because, to be completely honest, you have been acting very strange since you, since that encounter. Uh, what do you mean it promised you something? Urgently, Jim Dagwoods. Pentagon R&D. Uh, I wish I knew, bud. Can I flush the toilet? Look at the tank on this thing. Jeez. Nothing getting clogged in there. Alright. Um, so now we have to figure out how to get the ice to melt. And we're back in this room. What is, what's that? What is that? I don't know. Uh, so I guess we're going to have to mess with the clock again. It seems to be our only method of changing things. We don't really have an inventory. Okay, well I did that, but the whatever was in there is gone. Um, this is a different note. <clears throat> I know the department keeps asking you this, and every time you've chosen to dodge the question, but I really must ask for the sake of my own curiosity and perhaps our safety this question again. Just how on earth did you come up with these schematics? With all due respect, your background in physics doesn't come close to explaining how you came up with such advanced designs. This is miles ahead of what the greatest minds have been doing for decades. Usually, we'd accuse someone like this of having simply stolen someone else's work, but in your case, I don't think anyone alive is capable of coming up with this. These designs look completely foreign. Would appreciate an honest answer, Jim Dagwoods. You know what? Suck it, Jim. Don't look a gift technology in the mouth. What a jerk. Can't you just accept that the technology is good? What the? Yeah, you said that. Heard that one before. Hello? Anyone in here? Can I can I take this? No. Still need that pendulum. It's right there. But I need it in a different timeline. 
Um, doesn't look like anything in here has changed. Except, was there a high chair before? Baby. That's not good. That's not normal. How is somebody supposed to sit on that? Ridiculous. Alright. We'll go into the basement. The only other working clock we know of. Uh, yep. Okay, we'll do that. <clears throat> Stuff seems to happen in here a lot. You forgot the key to the lobby again. Hugs and kisses. And that is the same note as last time, so I'm guessing... I've done something incorrectly. Let's check and see if the bathtub is all frozen again. Wait a second. Are you PTing me? Lois. Is that, is that you? Is that you? Oh yeah, this is this makes sense. Here, here we go. No. No, nope. Okay. Keep going. The chair in the ceiling is not a good look, man. Red means scary. John Wolf. Please help. Why, 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 why? Get out. Get out. No, you know what? Okay, thank you. Because I was. I need to get through. Daddy? Look, I'm sorry. I don't know what I did, but I'm trying to make it right. Sometimes that doesn't mean anything. A pendulum? Are you my clocks as pieces? Dude, you know that you need that. Okay, we've seen that note before. It's the your eyes only note. I'm stuck on something. It's the door. <laughs> Oh, thank you for hanging that picture for me. That was very nice of you. What do you, what, what is that? Interact or roll back. Let's roll back. Got it, I think. What do I do with that, though? Okay, dropping frames here. Ah, oh, it's locked. Is there a tape player? I don't have a inventory that I'm aware of. Ah. Oh. It's this giant machine here. What is... why? It's not how screwdrivers work, man. Are you happy, honey? The new TV that he brought us. Now we can watch TV together in Daddy's and Mommy's room. Oh. I heard Daddy in Mommy's room and TV. I also heard this door slam itself open. That, hey! I was gonna go in there. No. You let me in. Storms spread across Indian Ocean. You know, weather happens. We weren't alone. 
All right. Oh, a code. I don't remember the code. Maybe she said it to something she saw on TV. Oh. oh. But we have to go look at the TV in the bedroom. Oh my god. Okay. Damn it, I don't have time for this. I've got to go back. True. Um, is there a way to slow it down? I can't. Is there, there's not a clock in here. No. Okay, see if we can figure this out. I think there's a five. Late. Or they misspelled latte. Um, uh, there's a three. I don't know. There's gonna be some way that we can figure that out without. Excuse me. Do you mind? Let's try. Let's try going into the kitchen and messing with this clock again. Uh, nothing happens. Okay. Well. The use of consumer grade time travel technology has been outlawed today after numerous scandals, its connection to meteorological disasters across the globe, and several studies on the various cases of hallucination, delusional tendency, the loss or change of long term memory. You know what? Leave me alone. Later this week, the Time Machine's inventor releases a new book titled The End of Regret, in which he claims that, in the venture, none shall ever feel regret again. But why regret something you did if you can simply go back in time and do it over? Right? That makes sense. What are you doing slapping me around like that? What? I can't see a damn thing. Oh. Oh, thank you. Two. One. Ah, uh, three, seven, eight, four, two, one. Three seven eight four two 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 one. We have confirmation of the storms have reached Miami. Um, organizing a book to decide if an evacuation shall be ordered. Stand by for official instructions. It is an abomination. A perversion of a heavenly father's grand design. Beware, my brothers and sisters, of a devil who walks among us this hour. To be bearers of a Dalian raven of Ras of Gomorrah in the land of Sodom.
What do you mean too late? Um, I'm not sure. Later this week, the Time Machine's Adventure releases a new book titled The End, End of, of Regret. Regret. Yeah, 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 yeah. The use of consumer grade time travel technology has been outlawed. Well, well, I know. I was trying to remember, we made up a song and everything. Eastern coast. Did I fix it? All I needed was a record. TV's facing the wall now. Yeah, you shut up, TV. Nobody asked you. Hmm. Okay. Kitchen. What? Lots of screwdrivers in there. You suck. Where is your weird clock? Um, is this a door? We're gonna have to do the backwards trick. Oh. No, yes, yes. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. You left us. You killed us. I did no such thing. These are baseless accusations. It can't be too late. It can't be. Yeah, I can time travel, yo. Okay. This is a poor design. Well, I'll just close all eight door. Okay. Uh, can't go that way. Hey. What? It's cool, man. I don't mind your clocks falling apart. They ain't my interdimensional clocks. What is with this record player? A song. That's it. That's the song. I'm rolling it back, baby. It's clearly not. I can't interact with this anymore. Ah. Was was that always here? No. No, it it couldn't be. Voice acting's not bad. Just wanted to throw that out there. I can't move. Oh, why? You killed us. You have to.
Okay, so that was reminiscence. Um, obviously, didn't work out. He didn't get the wife and child back, I suppose. Um, that's sad. Um, not a bad little game. You know, it did some things a little different the whole time. Mechanic was a bit different. Um, the the monster. There's a couple of good jump scares in there, but it wasn't really scary. Um, wouldn't really call this a horror game. Maybe more of a mystery with horror elements. Uh, the environments looked really good. I enjoyed that. Uh, the voice acting was great. Can't complain there. The controls were fine. Uh, that, like I said, that time mechanic was interesting. I'd like to see a longer experience with that. That that would be pretty cool. Um, I know other games in the past have done stuff with rewinding time and stuff, like Prince of Persia and, and, and similar games, but this is doing it a little different. It's like you kind of have to use it to solve puzzles. So. Um, yeah, that was that was a definitely interesting. I, I enjoyed it. So if you uh, if you want to check it out yourself, maybe you'll make different decision at those three doors, like I did, and uh, you know come up with a different ending. Uh, so that's gonna do it for this video. I'm, I'm sorry I sound like this. Like I said in a earlier video, I'm getting over being sick, and uh, so yeah, I sound. I sound like it, <laughs> but uh, and I feel like it too. Okay. Uh, anyway, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.